Hey squad, welcome back. Now today we're going to be diving right back into the Logic Pro Drummer and exploring some of the more advanced features that I haven't really spent much time looking at in previous videos. Now if you want to check those out, I've got links in the description so you can go right there. As always, if you're finding value in these videos I'm bringing you, remember to like the video, subscribe and leave me a comment. All right, let's dive right in. Okay, so the track we're gonna be using for our demonstration today is a production I brought you a little while back and I've now got it ready for release. However, I've taken out all of the drums just so I can create some space to do the demonstration using Logic's drummer. The track itself is called Bumpy's Back and I'll be releasing this one leading up to the summer. So let's have a quick listen to part of the track without the drums and then we'll introduce Logic's drummer. Okay, let's, so let's bring some drums in. So as usual, we come up here and we select a drummer and I'm gonna go for some hip hop style drumming. And now I'm gonna create. And as you know, in the library, we can select the type of drummer we want. This is not a trap production and I'm looking for a more boom bap drumming style. So Morris will do. So let's select Morris right here. And as you can see up here, the drummer region has already been created. I'm just gonna extend this out for 16 bars. Okay. The other thing to notice is although we've changed the drummer, the region is still titled Trap Door, which came from Des, who's our trap drummer. But just ignore that because this is not going to be a trap style drum beat. Let's have a quick listen anyway. Right, cool. Now I'm not feeling that. And what I'm going to do is just scroll back here and have a look at see what we got. So we're using the electronic drum kit, which essentially is the drum machine designer. Now, instead of using that, I wanna use like a natural acoustic kit. So I'm gonna click on drum kit and I'm gonna select an acoustic style drum kit. So let's try Brooklyn. So let's check this one out. Cool. And as you know, we can switch with the different beat patterns here. Let's, so let's play back and then switch through some of these patterns. Okay, you know about changing the intensity, the loudness and the complexity using this node right here. And of course we can change the kick, snare and claps pattern as well as the shaker and hi-hat patterns. We know all of this from previous videos. We can also adjust the fills and the amount of swing. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to freestyle. Now the next thing we can do of course is come up here, click on the actual drum kit icon. And if we were to click here, we would see we have a selection of different drums that we can swap out. So for example, the kick drum, I can swap it from Brooklyn to Brooklyn two or Brooklyn three. Same with the snare, I can choose between these three snare options. And of course over here, I can affect the tuning, dampening and gain, as well as with the cymbals, I can adjust the tuning, dampening and gain for the crashes and I can adjust them individually. The ride symbol has its own controls and the hi-hat has its own controls, which is cool. We've covered this before. If we were to hit this drop down and we had some percussion parts playing, we can do the same down here. Okay, now this is all standard stuff. However, if you wanna go more advanced, then this is what you do. Make sure you're on your drummer track. You scroll down to producer kits. You click on here. And as you can see, the current kit is called Brooklyn. However, there's Brooklyn Plus. So if we were to click on Brooklyn Plus, let's see what we get. Let's click on the icon once again. If I was to now click on the kick drum, look at this. Before we had three options, and now look at all of these options we've got right here. Okay. And besides that, look over here. Look at this additional stuff. Now that's fantastic. And if you remember as well with the toms, look at the toms. Before 
all we could do was adjust controls over here for the toms but now look at this we can swap out all of these different tom combos look at that you try all of these out same with the hats before we had no options when it came to the hats we could only adjust these controls over here but now you can swap out your different hats same with your crash symbols and look at that with your rides all of these different ride options which were not available to you under the standard brooklyn which is over here and these are essentially a copy of the standard range of drum kits that you've got under drummer but with just a ton more options and features available to you now what i want to do is switch out the kit altogether and i'm going to go for a neo soul kit let's switch to that one and let's have a listen Hey squad, just reminding you that if you're interested in a personalized online one-to-one -one tuition session or a consultation, just head over to my website, musictechtraining.com and complete the contact form with your details and your requirements and I'll be happy to get right back to you. Okay, let's crack on with the video. Okay, so let's explore a few more great things that you can do with drummer to really add that human feel that a drummer will bring to your song. So as you remember, we extended this drummer region for 16 bars. As far as the track goes, we've got eight bars of sort of intro build up, then we drop into the hook section, and then we go into a verse from bar 17 onwards. Here's something really cool that you can do. I'm gonna split this region at bar nine to give us two eight bar drummer sections. So let's split that. And I'm gonna select the first eight bars and we're going to go for a different pattern down here let's go for needle drop and let's have a listen to this cool i'm going to take out the snare nice how about we put a shaker in there as well Yeah, that's building up nicely for the intro. Now at bar eight, I'm gonna split in here again. Now I'm gonna change the pattern back to freestyle. I'm going to also change the complexity to about here and give this a nice big fill to transition from this section to here. And of course we need to come back here and take the fill out of here because we don't want a fill here and then another one here. Let's have a listen. How cool is that? We're now creating more realism in the drums. Now here's one more advanced feature that's gonna add even more groove and realism to your drummer patterns. Let's loop these eight bars of the song. We're gonna split up bar 13. So we've got two four bar sections right here. Now I'm only doing this split right now. So you'll be able to compare what's happening in this first section and then what's gonna happen in this second section. We're gonna select this first four bars, switch off the fill and now select the second four bars. And down here, we're gonna click follow and you'll see overheads appears we're going to click on this and i'm going to tell logic to follow the bass guitar pattern to follow what's going on with the bass guitar playing and now check this out listen to how drummer plays this first section and then when we get to here what happens Wow, drummer is analyzing the bass pattern and grooving with that just the same way a real drummer would work with the bass player to lay down the foundation rhythm section of a song. Now that truly is powerful. 
So as always, if I've brought you value, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. It's always great hearing from you. And until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out. Peace.